Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Victor Postal injured, so he's out. Regis Progus fighting Julius Ndongo now. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We are working March 9th, 12-round main event, showtime. They have a fight for a WBC belt, 140-pound title shot. Regis Progus, he was supposed to fight, slated to fight Victor Postal. Postal's out with a hand injury, so now the replacement is Julius Ndongo. They're fighting for the vacant interim WBC championship belt, which Terrence Crawford left behind. Now, speaking of Crawford, I had to talk about this. I talked about this on my Instagram account. Now, this fight for me, I was looking forward to the Postal fight. I like that, but now that it's Julius Ndongo, it's... It's not a bad switch up. You know what I mean? I kind of wanted to see Postal. Just because Crawford fought Postal too, it didn't stop him. So I wanted to see if, if Regis Progus was capable. But nonetheless, not a bad fight for a vacant belt. Um, there's a lot of buzz about Regis Progus. And he's he's a guy who's even fought Errol Spence Jr. in the amateurs. And I guess the he said the first fight was pretty close. But then the second, the second fight, Errol Spence kind of blew him out a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at this fight, this replacement fight, you know what I mean? It could be much worse. So that's solid. Julius Ndongo, after he lost to Crawford, he actually, some of Crawford's, um, family hit me up and they told me he was going to be training out in Omaha now. So he left his old team and we'll see what he could do with his new team in Omaha. That's where he's training out of where, where Crawford's from. But speaking of Crawford, I got to talk about this because I post this on my Instagram, and when it comes to Terrence Crawford, like I said, Maury Povich style, in the case of Terrence Crawford, people, when, when they see him, they say, oh, who is he fought? I'm talking about the casuals, the dummies, right? They say, who is he fought? Because he doesn't have that, I guess, that name, that just heralded name like Manny Pacquiao, Errol Spence Jr. on his resume at the moment, you know what I mean? But he does have a lot of good fighters on his resume, some Olympians, some Olympic gold medalists and stuff like that, some just overall good fighters, guys who are taller than him, guys who are champions, guys who, like Hank Lundy, who just fought and beat Demarcus Corley, you know what I mean, veteran guys. So because it's not necessarily the, the huge names that everybody knows, they automatically try to downplay those opponents talking about Crawford ain't fought nobody especially when we're talking about pound for pound. And I believe Crawford is the number one pound for pound with Andre Ward retiring, right? So my question to you guys is this. For the people who say Crawford ain't fought no one, how is it that Regis Progus is now fighting for a vacant title and no knock on him, no shade to him. He's just whoever the WBC lines up for his opportunity, he's, he's in, you know what I mean? He's trying to fight, trying to prove his worth and be the man at 140, so I have no beef with that. But you look at the other highest ranking guys, other than Regis Progus, is Victor Postal, who again, is withdrawing because of a hand injury, a guy Crawford annihilated. I was live in the in third row, fifth row, something like that, and Crawford dogged him. And then I talked to Crawford post fight, he didn't have a scratch on him, it was in Las Vegas, and Postal got knocked down twice, and Crawford beat him when he was a champion, coming off the Lucas Matisse win right not and he disappeared after the Crawford fight you know what I mean I think he may have fought one time since then and that's who Regis Progus was going to fight for the vacant title meaning he was still ranked he was still the highest ranking other than Regis right now he's out with the injury and guess who Regis is fighting he's fighting Julius Ndongo right so it just goes to show you that the level of opposition that Crawford faced is not what some of you guys make it out to be these are still good fighters because at the end of the day they're still highly ranked to the point where they're already back in the title shot immediately after Crawford uh, leaves now the good thing about this too is I have high hopes for Regis Progus and this will be a good barometer you know what I mean anytime you see a mutual opponent let's see how Regis does against Julius Ndongo Crawford stopped him I think in the third fight 
or the third round. I was at that fight too in um, Lincoln, Nebraska. So it'll be interesting to see how Regis does, you know what I mean? Or if he would have fought Victor Postal. Those would be good barometer fights. But I, I have to mention, to give Crawford his just due credit, I have to mention how guys he already beat are still highly ranked and back in line already for another title shot. So it should be a good one. March 9th, show box, Showtime Boxing. Let me know your thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.